This week on Small Boat Big Ocean TV, it's Bluefin or Bust for the crew of the Howie T. Stay tuned, we'll be right back. Small Boat Big Ocean TV is brought to you by Howie T Sport Fishing, Bob K Marine, and Salt Weather, the ultimate marine forecast app. Hey everybody, welcome back to Small Boat Big Ocean TV. We are once again trying to get in on the inshore bluefin bite out of Manasquan, New Jersey. If you tuned into episode four, then you're aware that we missed the morning bluefin bite for two reasons. First, we did not have radar, and which allowed would have allowed us to run out in the fog and dark. And B, we had unfavorable weather when we reached the dock. Since episode four, things have changed. We actually outfitted the Howie T with a 24 mile radar. And we did have good weather when we reached the dock this morning, which allowed us to leave the dock at approximately 4 a.m. After making our way through the Point Pleasant Canal, ended up breaking Manasquan Inlet at approximately 440 and given the sea conditions we had about an hour ride out to uh, the area where the bluefin bite had been the previous day. We arrived at the spot where the bluefin bite had been the previous day and were greeted by about 100 boats, which was expected when word gets out of a good bluefin bite, you expect a lot of boat traffic. So we decided to stay on the outside of the fleet and put out our five rod spread consisting of a starboard and port wide trackers, a sterling spreader bar, a ballyhoo on a Joe shoot down the way, way back shotgun, and a cedar plug chain off the flatline clip. Didn't take us too long to set out the spread. And we had the full five rod spread all set by about five minutes after six. I just want to take this opportunity to remind everybody to remember to set the clickers on your reel. Well, we managed to finally get a knockdown that we're pretty certain is a bluefin because we're in the right area, we have the right baits out. And when you know it, we have that sterling spreader bar crossed over our way, way back on our first hookup. So stay tuned to see how this one shapes up. Bob K. Marine in Spring City, PA is your one-stop shop for all marine services. From bass boats to bow riders, to and four stroke outboards to large buck and boards. Our certified staff can repair just about anything. Bob K. Marine also offers electronics installation, 
containerization and shrink wrap, plus fiberglass and gel coat repair. Visit Bob K. Marine today for all your marine service needs. Salt Weather is the ultimate marine forecast app. With Salt Weather, you get forecasts from four different models on one screen. Chlorophyll and sea surface temperatures. Waypoints. Distance measuring, plus a whole lot more at a fraction of the cost of other services. Hey everybody, welcome back to Small Boat Week Ocean TV where we have our first hookup, which we believe is a pretty good bluefin. And we have the spreader bar crossed over our shotgun line, creating a lot of havoc. <laughs> so cross lines happen all the time, no big deal. The key is just remain calm. See where the twist is or who's over who. Take your time, move some rods around and get the twist undone without relieving tension on the hooked fish. Took our time, got the lines untwisted, cooler heads prevailed, and that was on to Pat fighting what we hope will be our first blue fin for the Howie T. Just like we had mentioned in episode four, once this fish was hooked, we, being on the outside of the fleet, uh, steered clear of any boats and went farther away from them just to make sure there's no complications with other boats, our fish going somewhere over somebody else's line, etc.
Now, I know what some of you were thinking. It's just a little 35-inch blue fin. What's the big deal? Well, to us, this thing was all of 72 inches. It's been a two-year culmination of work, trial and error, uh, missing windows, things of that nature. But uh, for the crew of the Howie T, we finally put a bluefin tuna on the deck. And to us, that is truly magical. So say what you want about our excitement, but we, uh, we thoroughly enjoyed this one. With our first bluefin blood out on ice and in the box, we redeployed the spread, this time putting our wide trackers off the end outrigger and we moved them a little bit further back in the spread. didn't seem like maybe half hour had passed and we had number two bluefin hooked up and this time Brad was on deck. Thank you. 
After some good work by the crew, we had bluefin number two in the box on ice. So we now had our two under bluefin, which if you recall from episode four, unders consist of bluefin 27 inches to 47 inches. And then anything 47 to 72 is considered an over and you are permitted two unders and one over per boat. So with our two under boat limit, we decided to redeploy and see if we can't get that magical over 47 inch bluefin. We got our third knockdown of the day at about 7.30 in the morning, and this one also came off of a wide tracker. With some more good work by the crew, I was able to put bluefin number three on the deck. Unfortunately, it was another under. And also I had some concern because this fish was hooked near the gill plate 
and started bleeding, uh, which tells me that we the hook accidentally struck one of the, the uh, gill rakers inside. So uh, we had to do some work to make sure we could get this fish revived. I wanted to uh, make sure that we had a lot of water moving to the fish's gills before he's ready to, to be released. Uh, it gave me some resistance with his tail, and as you can see, the fish successfully swam off on its own. So now that we were three for three on under bluefin, we decided to give it one more try to see if we couldn't get that mystical 47 plus inch bluefin. Pay attention to the port side Y tracker at the red hour. You can actually see the next fish come up and hit the Y tracker.
After we got a good look at this fish, it was pretty clear this was not going to be the over we had hoped it would be. So we went ahead and put the gaff down and tried to grab this sucker by the tail. We were able to get this fish landed without a net. And after some pictures, Pat was able to revive this guy nicely and he swam away under his own power, giving us four for four on the blue fin grounds today. And after that, and seeing the boat traffic pick up, we decided that that was it for us for the day. It was a very successful day. So we decided to pack in the spread and head back in to Manasquan Inlet. Uh, we ended up leaving uh, the inshore grounds at about 9.30 a.m., arriving back to the dock uh, sometime between 10.30 and 11. So that's going to do it for this episode of Small Boat Big Ocean TV. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed, and we'll catch you on the next one. This episode of Small Boat Big Ocean TV has been brought to you by Howie T. Sport Fishing, Bob K. Marine, and Salt Weather, the ultimate marine forecast app. Music